Hey Trent Meissheimer with the Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up in Snake Creek on an east-northeast facing slope at about 9,500 feet. Total depth of snow is about 200 centimeters or just over six feet. And what we have up here is some light fluffy snow from the past few days. And then just the snowpack just gets harder and harder and harder as we go down. Really, you can't even get your one finger into it here. So we use a pencil and from about here up, is all of the storm snow from the Valentine's Day storm cycle where Alta recorded about a hundred inches of new snow. And then this layer down here is actually the old faceted or persistent weak layer problem. It's still here. It exists. If you come down here and look, you can see these grains are still faceted. So what's changed? Why is it dormant right now? Well, as you can see, this layer is gaining a lot of strength. And the reason why is because it's very well insulated by all of this storm snow on top of it. So we've removed the temperature gradient. This snow is getting stronger. And for now, it remains dormant. and We're not really too worried about it. So where are avalanche concerns now? Well, currently the danger is low. We have a few avalanche issues, but heads up. Just like last March, we could get a big spring storm that drops a bunch of snow. We could see soft, dry slab avalanches right up here, breaking in this snow. Or if that strong spring sunshine comes out and starts making this snow wet, it'll lose cohesion and we could see wet avalanches up here.